Krida and Piki, uh, warm welcome in these unprecedented uh, conditions we are going through. And uh, with all the measures coming from uh, your our ministry, which is our rural ministry, and the uh, RBI, which came today, uh, and the more issues which will come in as time goes on, we are extremely confident that uh, we will move forward. So we have more than 1900 people today. Hello, I'm also. Sadish, you've gone on mute. I don't know, somebody is doing it. Now you're fine. So we are just. Uh, uh, we have been very particular about who will come on the call. So all the, we have gone up to the city level presidents and their office bearers. So we have left it very limited to just uh, 2,000 odd people where we want to hear your views and we have a set question answers uh, which we feel uh, we can take for. So we want, we want to work hand in hand to see to it that this industry uh, comes out of all these problems which we are going through. And we also on our own have been doing a lot of things. We are looking after the labor. We are trying to keep our staff together, keeping our customers together, keeping everyone happy. I think more than 70, 75 crore rupees we have already spent in these market conditions on the various activities which we are undertaking and much more is in the pipeline. So I would hand over to Gidambar uh, to start yeah. with the proceedings and then the Honorable Minister yes. could speak. So on behalf of uh, Fiki and Kadai sir, I welcome you. Uh, to this webinar and we are all looking forward to hear from you. Those of you who work with sir know what a proactive, what a open person as a minister Mr. Puri is and it's for all yeah. stakeholders whether it's the buyers or it's the bankers or the real estate developers or even the, uh, the sanctioning the government authority. Everybody is uh, welcome to He's very accessible to all and he's a man who actually looks for solutions and he says, bring me your problems. We'll find a solution. He's been instrumental in finding a solution to the Amrapali problem, instrumental in, finding, in uh, forming the uh, distressed asset fund with SBI caps. And sir, uh, we actually look forward to hearing from you. I also want to welcome Mr. D.S. Mishra, the secretary of uh, the Ministry of Housing and Urban Development, who's played a very, very... Uh, <coughs> Impressive and very productive role in the PMAY scheme as well as the Global Housing Technology Challenge Scheme. Mishraji himself is, he, is, he slogs, he works very hard and we've seen him when he decides to do something, he takes it upon himself and he sees it to its logical conclusion. Very, very warm welcome to you, Mishraji, in case I don't see you here, but I hope you're here. So actually, the webinar is more because you see, you are our parent ministry. And today in industry and amongst all stakeholders, there is a sense of uncertainty. There is a sense of, uh, I won't call it bloom really, but there's a sense of, uh, you know, uh, some sort of a uh, negativity, which we have to remove, sir. We all know, and you've said it in so many forums that real estate and construction are the single largest employers. We employ something close to six crore Indians. So this has to go, sir, because in these times, considering what other industries need as a, a relief package, be it aviation or be it uh, hospitality, be it power, I think real estate needs much lesser, but it needs a strong support. It needs a strong assurance from our parent ministry that you are with us. We needn't worry. We needn't fret. No matter where we have to knock. And all, when I say we, I mean all stakeholders, including our buyers, including our bankers, including the, uh, the sanctioning authorities, all of us, and of course the developers. When I say we, it's all of us together. We need this positivity, this assurance, this confidence from you that things will come out of this together, we'll emerge out of this together. And together, we will provide much more employment, much more opportunities to the manufacturing sector. It's just the small time, the short period where we need to have a positive attitude and we look forward to hearing from you to make us feel better and more positive about the future. Thank you, sir. Over to you. Thank you very much. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, sir. 
Well, let me start by welcoming all of you. Uh, I want to thank you, Gitam, for taking this initiative. I want to thank Kredai and Fiki, and not only all of you who are present in this uh, video conference, but also your larger membership. Personally, I am aware of the efforts which you have made, many of you have made individually, which you have made collectively, to addressing various matters which are a fallout from the current crisis. Uh, looking after your labor, uh, feeding uh, people uh, who are without a job. Uh, and I think the contribution cannot be measured in terms of the amount of money that has been paid into PM Cares Fund or otherwise. Uh, many of you have offered your properties which are not fully handed over yet uh, as quarantine facilities. So I'm not going to spend time on that. I sure. actually have a different uh, idea about this. Let me share with you for just two or three minutes what I see as the major challenge. Uh, you know, I uh, have also the privilege of being a member of the group of ministers uh, to deal with the virus. Then, of course, I, I have um, responsibility for this ministry, Housing and Urban Affairs, which is your parent ministry in a sense, and civil aviation. But I also am uh, involved with PhD in the commerce and industry side. So let me just share with you an overall uh, uh, assessment of what the challenge is, where we are, and why I personally believe we will come out of this not only stronger, but much stronger. But of course, we have to. Uh, all play a part in that. First and foremost, if you look at the global picture, with a population of 1.3 plus billion people, if you look at the total number of cases that we have, uh, the number of people who have recovered, the number of fatalities, etc., I think we can draw some satisfaction that largely as a result of the very timely action that the Honorable Prime Minister took and the preventive measures we took, we are today, we are facing challenges, but we are not really. I mean, in the sense that both our healthcare system, the other step, of course, there are variations within the country. Mumbai uh, is a cause of worry. Some parts of Delhi are a cause for worry, some other parts. But in overall terms, I think we are at the cusp and I think the period of the extended lockdown and the measures which are being taken and the simultaneous calibrated reopening of economic activities should see us through this. My personal view is that the measures that have been announced by the government in the first phase, the liquidity boosting measures announced by the governor of the Reserve Bank today, you've all seen his address, I'm not going to repeat that, some additional measures which will be forthcoming, I'm sure, as part of a package, um, a second part of the package. These will all give the sector the confidence which is required. But we have to also look for local solutions. I mean, what is done overall, I think, in terms of uh, the liquidity coverage ratio, what, what they have done in terms of uh, you know, the NBFC loans to commercial real estate projects. I'm not going to go into those details. My sense is that from now on, you see, it may have been somewhat premature to have this meeting earlier. Uh, we could have had a discussion, but you know, with the resumption of economic activity from the 20th, with construction being a major area where uh, those of you who have projects which have labor in the close vicinity or proximity your starting operations, other issues, the free movement of um, goods, trucks moving. I've seen interviews given by some of you. I think we need to also utilize this sector to build confidence in our people overall. And therefore, what I propose to do uh, is that I want to listen to what your different uh, 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 office bearers are going to say, the chair, the president, vice president, the, um, you know, uh, uh, what you want to say, others, and have an open, free and uh, uh, free-flowing and interactive discussion in which Secretary will join me. 
other uh, senior um, officers of the ministry will participate. Let me just share with you two or three things. One is that the importance of the sector per se is not affected or undermined by the virus. I mean, as long as we have a country of our size, the need for construction, the need for housing, the sector being a critical driver of economic growth, that goes without saying. I think the challenge is to work out an ecosystem during this time. The sector was already challenged and we, we, we have interacted on that. But today a new challenge has become. So how do we address that and overcome those additional challenges? And I think that is something that the government is acutely conscious of. Any suggestion I am familiar with, which comes from Fredai or Naretko or other well-meaning people, even those who are not tied with us, you know, I think in the ministry, senior management, the secretary and his senior colleagues, me, we are receptive to those. We look for ideas and we will continue to do that. So the purpose of this discussion today is not to have a one-time standalone discussion, but to reopen a dialogue which we already had. But because we are living in extraordinary times, instead of all, of all of you flying in from Mumbai or other parts of the country in the morning, meeting me at noon and meeting the secretary and flying back, I think we have a more efficient way in some respects of uh, utilizing our time efficiently and meeting, meeting through this uh, uh, medium. Uh, because our discussions are with public uh, figures, I'm not worried about the security dimension about using this platform. I know there are, uh, you know, uh, guidelines from the Home Ministry in some of my other work, I am a little more reluctant, a little more reluctant to view it. But let me stop here, tell you, government is with you all the way in this, in meeting these challenges, which does not mean that we have uh, a magic solution, but within the resources available, I think the political will is there to try and ease your situation both in terms of uh, resources coming from banks, in terms of your other points of interaction with the system. And uh, you will find that, um, uh, you know, you, uh, Gitambar was saying nice things about uh, the ministry's functioning, solutions and secretary being proactive. That will continue, in fact, with greater vigor. So let me stop here. Let me listen to what you all are saying. And then as we go along, uh, you know, we will respond in an interactive mode. Thank you very much. So, sir, we'll start with the question and answer session. So, like uh, you said, sir, we've got two sterling organizations here, both uh, Kadai and Fiki. I'll ask uh, Chairman Kadai, Jakshay Shah, to ask, sir, the first question. Jakshay, please. Jakshay, we can't hear you. Okay. Adam, can you please unmute? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's okay now. Yeah. Sir, thank you so much for being with us, sir, in uh, this critical uh, uh, moment. I welcome you, sir, uh, uh, Secretary, sir, Meena, sir, on behalf of more than 200 city chapters. We are with you, sir. I have a 24th state chapter, 200 city chapters. I want to give a place to you that we are with you and we are with ministry. Ke saath rahe ke ek, New India rebuild करेंगे sir. Sir, आपको पता है सात करोड़ family, that is के thirty five करोड़ people on three hundred industries depend upon this industry. और आपने सही बताया कि we are first time we are we are feeling proud as India and India is putting narrative in the world in terms of the uh, health hygiene and this all how to come out of the crisis. And senior minister like you. And we, you are a parent ministry, you are heading us. So, two things, three things, so because government, Pradhan Mantri Si Bol Rahe, Jahan Hai To Jahan Hai, we are with them. It is a survival mode. Second thing is revival and then sustainability. Of course, survival that we have to keep on for next at least two or three months. But at the same time, we have to think of our laborers, our customer, our industry. Two things, Jo. चीजें हैं जो हमारी पिछले कई महीनों से सेक्रेटरी साहब से भी जो बहुत एक्टिव हैं उनके भी काफी लगातार चर्चा होती रही है जैसे सबवेंशन स्कीम सर अचानक जो रुक दी गई थी बिकॉज़ ऑफ ये एनएचबी से हुआ था 
हम जो आपको दो चीज बताना चाहते हैं नॉन फिजिकल एंड फिजिकल लेकिन जो दो तीन चीजें हैं जो गवर्नमेंट डज नॉट है पैकेट फॉर पॉकेट सर सबवेंशन सीन जल्दी से जल्दी शुरू हो जानी चाहिए दूसरा सर 45 फाइव लैख का जो लिमिट जो पहले भी था हमने आप पहले से बोला था उसका लिमिट कम से कम 75 फाइव लैख नाइन्टी लैख तक होना चाहिए तो अभी वो एक मान किक स्टार्ट हो जाएगा ये दो मेरी डिमांड आगे माय फ्रेंड्स विल आल्सो टेल अदर क्वेश्चन लेकिन ये दो इमीजिएट जो जम स्टार्ट अगर हमको इकोनॉमी करनी है अपार्ट फ्रॉम द रेरा एंड स्टेट वो सब चीजें हैं और 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 आज काफी थोड़ा और कुछ रिलैक्स किया है लेकिन सर 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 स्कीम जो 45 लाख का जो कैप 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 वो इमीडिएटली उनको लागू करना पड़ेगा 45 लाख का कैप, मिनिमम 75 तो 80 लाख ओवर तो यू सर। I'm sorry. I was taking another call from Civil Aviation Secretary, so sir, I probably didn't hear the full thing because in between I. Uh, I, I repeat in. No, I no, repeat don't worry. Let Secretary, let Secretary answer. Durga ji, you have to answer. 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 आपको पहला चीज आपने कहा कि 45 कर पैतालीस लाख से बढ़ा के इसको 70 लाख करने के लिए यू अंडरस्टैंड वी हैव बीन पुशिंग विद द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फाइनेंस अभी हाल में भी मेरी फाइनेंस मिनिस्ट्री में बात हुई है कि इसको सारे डेफिनेशन जो है चाहे आरबीआई का हो चाहे जीएसटी का हो चाहे उसको एफडीआई डी पर्पज से जो और हमारे टैक्स पर्पज से इनकम टैक्स के पर्पज से ये सारे डेफिनेशन को एक साथ इंटीग्रेट कर दे इस पर हमारी फैलन से बात है और इंटीग्रेट करके एक डिस्टिंक्शन में नॉन मेट्रो और मेट्रो का कर दिया जाए सारे के सारे 45 लाख सबको बराबर करना ठीक नहीं है वी हैव बीन पुशिंग विद देम एंड आई एम श्योर बहुत जल्दी हो जाना चाहिए बट इसका डायरेक्टली आज के इससे कोई संबंध नहीं होना चाहिए नहीं नहीं सर आज के डिस्कशन से संबंध नहीं आप तीनों स्टार वर्ड्स हमारे काफी रोकने के बाद भी दो हजार लोग अगर हमने छोड़ दिया पूरी कोशिश कर रहे हैं बट यू अंडरस्टैंड इट टेक्स टाइम उनके रिजर्वेशन थे आपको मालूम है की इंडस्ट्री में कुछ लोग कुछ फॉल्ट प्रैक्टिस भी होती है और उस फॉल्ट प्रैक्टिस की वजह से कुछ निगेटिव रिपोर्ट आ गई थी उन चीजों को क्लैरिफाई हो रहा था वी आर गेन पुशिंग विद दिस बिकॉज नॉट ओनली नाउ बट वी बी पुशिंग फॉर द लॉन्ग टाइम एंड आई एम श्योर सम सम रिजल्ट विल कम थ्रू देयर या थैंक यू सो मच सर ओवर टू यू गीता सर थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच आई जस्ट वांटेड टू कम बैक ऑन द बेसिक क्वेश्चन यू नो द चॉइस बिटवीन जान एंड जहान बिटवीन लाइफ एंड लाइवलीहुड यू नीड टू स्ट्राइक अ बैलेंस आई थिंक आवर फोकस today and in the next few weeks and months should be on how we survive this phase uh, in so far as uh, the proposals which you have made as secretary pointed out whether it is at 45 lakhs plus or uh, credit linked um, interest subvention we have been all supporting that but i would recommend that some of these issues which are part of our larger thing today may not be the time to concentrate on that we will go on reiterating i want to assure you we will go to the finance ministry as we have been doing and we will uh, try and resolve these as we have been doing all along but today we should look at those measures which we require for immediate uh, sir, you know transiting through this challenging phase so this is for uh, i point well noted sir this is for the demand creation for the customer only not for us fair enough fair yes, enough fair yes sir enough. thank, thank you, sir. you thank you thank you sir thank you and as always for understanding i would now request the chairman of the fikki real estate committee sanjay dat to ask his question to sir uh thank you very much uh, honorable minister uh, thank you gitambar sir very pointed question 1 lakh crore of unsold ready to move in inventory of residential apartments is lying unsold if we make a slight change in foreign direct investment policy there 
FDI is not allowed in buying ready to move inventory for a period of 2 years 1 lakh crore which is stuck in inventory will get released and in addition to distress funds with the government has taken a good initiative uh, and i think things are working there this will provide liquidity to developers and they will be able to finish other projects and pay the nbfc and banks so that is request one so second there are some impediments in uh, doing a development from environment approval to all the other aspects some expeditive process can be considered we are not asking for any uh, benefit here we just want the construction cycle to reduce third sir if the commercial projects can be given a infrastructure status uh, the provisioning uh, for the banks it will help reduce the cost of borrowing i want to share with the minister that last year india recorded the highest leasing in india 47 million square feet net absorption which unfortunately this year will be disturbed but sir if we have jobs i know residential will bounce so if you give infrastructure status to the office this will be very helpful well let me uh, respond straight away in so far as um, allowing foreign direct investment into projects which are uh, at a near stage of completion uh, please send us a note and uh, i'd be happy to look at it and i'll be happy to uh, after discussion with secretary take this up with the uh, finance ministry uh, i personally think it makes a lot of sense because as long as uh, these projects are ready or almost near ready and if a tweaking of the fdi rules allows this money to come in uh, i think that will help in uh, uh in clearing the inventory etc without any uh, disadvantage at least i can't see any disadvantage now in so far as the other two issues are concerned why is uh, you know uh, some of the approvals which are required you know streamlining i am not clear exactly what it is but i request secretary maybe he is more familiar with it and again infrastructure status to some of these commercial projects i'll request secretary to respond and then i come in thank you sir sabse uh, pehle regarding this uh, uh, reducing the total construction cycle you are aware this online building permission system is not only it is made completely operational in delhi and mumbai but more than 2500 cities across the country online building permission system is completely like every permission is given online it is a seamless integration of all the agencies only for the environment clearance you are aware that also it was sought but because the ngt stayed our uh, the district which was taken by the ministry of environment forest that was stayed we have gone to the supreme court we came out with the another formulation that has been stayed by the high court of delhi we are again fighting that case with the high court of delhi so that as far as this environment claim is concerned that is the only item which is causing some delay all other things are already at this very completely i i am sure you are fully aware of it uh, the second aspect is uh, regarding giving infrastructure status to the commercial properties infrastructure status has been given to the affordable housing so far i mean the infrastructure status has already been given to the affordable housing with the i mean the ministry has been focusing on promoting infrastructure housing uh, uh, this affordable housing so uh, as far as this commercial projects are concerned we are still not considered it and uh, maybe if there is some specific proposal we'll examine it as regards the third thing reit was something which was announced by the honorable finance minister and i think if you go through the reit maybe such properties can uh, mobilize a lot of money from that so sir just to elaborate on sanjay's suggestion because with the covid situation you know getting your map sanction fire noc lift noc Okay, uh, uh, Gitaambar Sir, I understand now. Now, now the, the question is different. Uh, yeah. We, we, so, in, in uh, my last interaction, just verify. Okay, let me let me just explain that. Uh, let us ask the clarification with the Nerecco members. Sanjay, Sanjay, just let let uh, Sir explain, then you can step okay. in again. In my last interaction no. with the Nerecco members, 
uh, demand was, I mean, some of the members demanded that some permission which has already been granted and that is coming to an end, can that be extended? We so asked for a specific proposal from them. Proposal I have received just today. Uh, that too is not complete. We are going to consider that and we'll take up with all concerned ministries and the state government. How should the such approvals which are already there that could be extended in view of the COVID-19? We will do that. We'll do that. Also, if the direction could go, just like someone has completion applied to today's date, or fire. Absolutely, sir. But absolutely, this is the time that has been passed. Where the completion has been applied, where the nexa pass has been applied, these are all things online. But the extension that has already been done and the extension that has been done, we will automatically allow it. We will examine this. We are going to examine this. आपका अगर कोई आपका गीतांबर साहब आपका या जक्शी साहब का कोई स्पेसिफिक प्रपोजल हो, जी सर। I request you kindly send it to me because we have received one from Naredko. As I said, it is not complete, it is incomplete. We are going to examine that and we'll take a view very soon. Yeah. Done, sir. Sanjay, you have something else to say? No, no, I'm I'm done. There are some other colleagues of mine who will ask some questions. We'll come to them. So now I'll request our Kadai National President, Mr. Satish Maggar. To answer, to ask his question, from sir. Sir, we have now successfully fought the survival mode, and I feel we are moving towards the revival mode since the 20th of this month or third of whatever date comes for some badly hit areas like ours. So the RBI is giving a lot of incentives. The finance ministry is talking of a lot of incentives. A lot of liquidity flow has come to the market, but unfortunately, what is happening is the banks are not passing this to the customer. The customer should be benefited because if the customer gets lower rate of interest to buy units, the customer gets more incentives to buy the unit. Then only this whole process of revival will start faster. That is my first uh, submission to you, sir. The second is cartelization, which has started happening. We are already started getting letters from uh, cement manufacturers, from steel manufacturers, saying that post-COVID, once the work starts, the rates are going to go up. When there's an international uh, slowdown, we just fail to understand why the rates are going to go up. But they are writing to us as of now. So these are the two submissions which will actually help because the jump-starting the requirement, the consumption is going to be the first thing, and economization is going to be the second thing because we need to give cheaper houses to people post the COVID-19 issues. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. Well, I, I I love your uh, characterization of moving from survival to revival mode. I I like that. Uh, <laughs> you see, in so far as the RBI putting more liquidity into the market, on that is only clear. You saw the RBI governor's announcement this morning. Why banks are not passing this on to the a uh, customer would request secretary to take this up with the, the I, I, I suspect this is not confined to the construction and housing uh, sector only. I mean, there was a general reluctance in the bank, but we'll see how we can step in and uh, uh, help you out. On the issue of uh, cement manufacturers and steel manufacturers approach, uh, adopting a cartelization approach, it's not making any sense to me. Because overall economic activity is down. There should be a surplus of cement and steel in the market. How can you adopt a cartel? This is clearly an unfair trading practice. But what I will do is, on the Commerce Ministry side, uh, because I'm also uh, involved there, I've, I've got one of my colleagues from the Commerce Ministry sitting here. I will speak to the concerned officer and we'll come back Sorry. to you on this. But, I, since I have the floor, I want to go back to an earlier question. You see, there was this issue of foreign direct investment in nearly finished projects. You see, the whole idea of foreign direct investment was in terms of money coming in for in projects. Now, I hope uh, by uh, 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 this tweaking which is being sought, that's why I'm coming back. Please, when you send us a proposal, let's be clear. What exactly is being sought? Any individual who's an NRI can buy a property. I don't see any uh, difficulty in that through normal banking which you can transfer money. Uh, if on the other hand, so 
is FDI being sought on a project which is nearly completed, uh, That's et cetera. Right. Please give us some clarity so that when we discuss this with the finance ministry, we are also clear as to what the demand is. But in so far as this cartelization, you know, I don't know who has sent you this letter. But if you can send me a copy of the letter that you have received, because send, uh, so send, send, it send, send it to me. Uh, there's Rasal Dwivedi, yes, who's my colleague in the Commerce Ministry, who works with me. He's here. Sir. Just send me the letter. I'll try and understand. We'll speak to them informally. But yes, I'm ready sir. to sit down with the cement and uh, 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 steel manufacturers and try and get a better understanding. Because this makes no sense to me that at a yes, time sir. like this, rate should be going up. In fact, the rate should be going down. Down, yes, up. sir. Yes. So, so just to clarify on the FDI, it is to allow institutions to invest in projects which are nearly complete, which have unsold inventory as an institution, and then they can sell it uh, as and when they like, because maybe the customers today are not very confident of buying into a project. So if an FDI, an institution, a foreign institution with the investment wants to buy unsold inventory or near ready inventory, then they should be allowed. That is the ask, sir. So well, this, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. That yeah. makes total sense because then it's an institution. It's not it's an individual, etc. No. And it's okay. Fine. Send us a proposal. We look at it. Yeah. So, and in the same spirit which Mr. Maggar said that rates, home loan rate cuts are not being passed on by banks to the customer, there was a suggestion can we, sir, extend the Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana benefits under CLSS? Not to just one first house per family, per family, but to all first time home buyers, uh, subject to the fact that they satisfy the income criteria. Because the government has so many employees who have a secure job. It's not so in the private sector so much with the COVID situation. So if we can have something like that where you are allowed to buy the first home, if you buy whether there are is the third home in the family it should still allow that buyer to avail the CLSS under PMAY. There was a suggestion to that. That would kickstart quite uh, a lot of our uh, sales, sir. I, I, have serious, I have serious doubts on that. I have serious doubts on that. You know, the whole Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana, uh, which has four verticals, uh, those verticals, all four, whether it's AHP, CLSS, beneficiary-led uh, construction, on uh, in-situ slum rehabilitation, it is based on the philosophy of house per family. Now, if you if you go into for uh, into uh, uh, credit-linked uh, subsidy uh, interest subvention being available for two, you're already departing from that. I don't personally, I don't see it's a good idea because you know under Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana, if you look at our overall numbers, I mean we had a demand assessment of one crore, one crore plus. We have already completed that. So let's sure. stick to that because let's stick to that. But uh, you can ask secretary. Uh, my own feeling is that uh, restarting um, uh, CLSS is a good idea, but to expand CLSS for a second home, I don't think that's a good idea. First home, sir, just like a family home, Bihar mein hai, wo Delhi aata hai kaam karne ke liye, and he settles down in Delhi, the son or maybe the daughter. Then it's a first home for them here, the, for the daughter, but not for the family. The family home is in Bihar somewhere, or maybe in UP somewhere. That is the idea, sir. No, no the idea, but let, let's look at it. But again, I I like secretary to focus on that. Gitambar sahab, aisa hai ki pehla to mujhe ye lag raha ki confusion hai kyu? Okay, Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana mein every family. Agar aap keh rahe ki koi aadmi ab yahan pe aakar ke Delhi mein kam kar raha hai, uska वहां पे परिवार जो उसके जो बड़ी फैमिली है गांव में रह रही है जो बड़ी फैमिली जो गांव में रह रही है उन लोगों के उसके पेरेंट्स के मकान होंगे वो और ये मकान दिल्ली में आ रहा अपने लिए ले रहा है वो क्योंकि वो यहां पे सेटल कर रहा है इसमें कहीं रोक टोक तो नहीं लगती मुझे प्रधानमंत्री आवास में रोक नहीं है एक आदमी दो मकान नहीं ले सकता अगर उसका मकान गांव में भी उसी के नाम पे और शहर में भी तो दो मकान नहीं सकता लेकिन अगर अगर वो आदमी जो है उसका मकान गांव पे उसके परिवार के नाम पे फैमिली के नाम पे यहां मकान ले सकता है नंबर 1 नंबर टू आपने कहा गवर्नमेंट एम्प्लाइज के बारे में गवर्नमेंट एम्प्लाइज का आपको ख्याल होगा 2017 में गवर्नमेंट एम्प्लाइज का ऑलरेडी काफी ज्यादा अमाउंट उनका लोन का अमाउंट बढ़ा दिया गया था 25 लाख रुपए तक ले सकते हैं सवा करोड़ रुपए तक का मकान वो खरीद सकते हैं बैंक से लोन ले सकते हैं जी तमाम सारे कंडीशन ऑलरेडी चेंज कर दिए गए थे प्रधानमंत्री आवास योजना में ऑलरेडी करीब दस लाख लोगों को सीएमएसएफ में फायदा मिल चुका है जिसमें एम स्कीम में करीब सवा तीन लाख तीन लाख चालीस के आसपास लोगों को फायदा मिल चुका है तो इतनी तेजी से ये चीज हो रहा है मुझे नहीं लगता इसमें किसी प्रकार की चेंज करने की आवश्यकता है ठीक 
I would request Raj Mehta, the co-chairman of the Fikir Real Estate Committee, to ask his question. He is also chairman of RMZ Corporation. Raj, please. Yes. Uh, good afternoon, sir. I think we had given a request letter to uh, uh, the Honourable Minister for uh, regarding the IT parks, uh, which are now going to come under pressure because all our multinational tenants, once they start, uh, you know, uh, they start settling and they will ask for some reduction in rent from us. And uh, we'll have to uh, work with, along with them because there's a cost saving which to be done right across for as far as the multinational clients are concerned. For this, sir, we have uh, two suggestions. One which is not financial but will benefit the country. Uh, the request is whether there can be an amendment uh, through your good offices made in the FEMA Act where all contracts made with multinational companies which are outsourcing the work in India, those contracts should be in uh, foreign currency contracts so that we bring in valuable foreign currency as for the government to return into the country uh, to pay rent and services uh, for, uh, on, on the project. So that so the additional inflow of foreign currency can come from these multinationals. And secondly, an amendment to be made in the ECB regulation that the developers can use that foreign currency which has been uh, brought in as a, uh, you know, and, and uh, get an ECB loan which will be cheaper because the inflows are coming in, in, in foreign currency. That will help the cost of the project to get a little cheaper. And uh, that is one of the uh, suggestions. Uh, the other suggestion, sir, is uh, uh, regarding the GST. As you know, 95% of the multinational clients are taking the uh, spaces on, uh, office spaces only on lease, and they are not uh, buying them. And since we, our developers are creating these uh, projects only uh, uh, to give it to them on lease, the request is from the GST side. If the GST which we are paying on the input side, and also we are collecting GST from the uh, clients, but we are not allowed to set it off on the input for con uh, construction of those uh, projects. The request is served with your help. If the GST can be set off from the lease that is collected on the construction amount we have paid, it will help to again reduce the cost and we can help, help to transfer it uh, transfer it to, uh, to our clients going forward because they are going to come and ask us to reduce the cost on our uh, rent. And that, that uh, this is the only way I think we can help. Thank you. Well, all, all three of your uh, uh, points, the amendment to FEMA, the amendment to the ECB, and uh, uh, adjustment of GST on uh, space which developers are creating uh, for the MNCs, which is given. All these, if you uh, uh, allow me to say so, are not current context uh, related. I mean, these are not situations which... Uh, are particular because of the COVID, but we are happy to look at it. Send me the proposals. One you said you already sent me the FEMA one. I don't recall having seen the um, GST one, but we'll we'll certainly look at it in the coming weeks. Yeah. Sure, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So another demand. One of the attendees of the webinar has very pertinently raised. You were kind enough. Government was kind enough to give infrastructure status to affordable housing, where 50% of the housing was below 60 square meters, and that qualified as an infrastructure project. Unfortunately, the banks have no direction from RBI to provide cheaper cap to such projects. And so we've, uh, you also made various requests to the finance ministry, but nothing seems to be have uh, been have done on that front. And we are still not having the banks give us cheaper capital for such projects. Can something be done there, sir? Yeah, no, certainly. I think there are two issues involved. Insofar as uh, affordable housing uh, uh, and, and infrastructure status, uh, you know, even that 60 square meter stipulation was raised. Yes. Uh, I think when we included middle income group, we took it up to 90 square meters and 120 square meters, I think, correctly. Is that correct, Shashi? That was for PMAY, sir. PMAY. Okay, yeah. no, no, I'm sorry. So, which oh, is. ATIB, sorry. ATIB and PMAY, both. Okay. For affordable house. Okay. No. Okay. So for affordable, the, the status of industry. Yeah. 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 No. So no, I understand. So what I'm saying is that we can go to the finance ministry and raise this up. But you see, again, in this uh, comment of yours or this question, the same issue is. Once something is accepted, whether the banks are stepping forward and providing uh, 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 concessional capital or not, or providing uh, loans, that is something which we need to address separately. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's the ask. But let, you, let, sec let Secretary comment fact, on this. Let Secretary sir, comment sir. on this. In fact, uh, sir, RBI has already allowed this 
uh, because of this infrastructure status given to the uh, affordable housing sector uh, they are allowing loan at a i mean they are giving from the uh, 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 money which is available as a backlog to the priority sector lending uh, loan at a much cheaper rate to the such uh, affordable housing projects this already is, is already proper provided there but we will also look into them some specific issues are there we are we are very much very much aware that the rbi has allowed this that those projects which are of infrastructure for them uh, there is a fund created as a, it is a national affordable housing uh, fund which was created by finance minister's uh, announcement in 2018 budget That's and right. the last year 18 19 there was a provision of 10000 crore all that 10000 crore has been 100% used now again this year there is a provision for 10000 crore for that yeah so But if there is any specific issue kindly uh, bring it to my notice we will we'll we'll do that yeah. we'll do that no, I, i think i think i think all that needs to be done is no. if rbi is accepted it and the banks are not pushing we should request the department of financial services and we will do that we will issue a letter straight away in the next two or three days and then we can uh, secretary can depute uh, one of his uh, senior officers uh, you know at additional secretary or joint secretary level to follow it up at dfs i don't think there's anything more than that that's Once right that's right taken a few, uh, rbi is accepted it it's only question of the instruction or the a signal going down to the banks so that they yes. comply with government's uh, policy that's all bang on sir absolutely absolutely right sir i would uh, now request mr irfan rizak the co chair of uh, fiki uh, real estate and also the chairman of prestigious states to ask his question irfan please i uh, said uh, uh, if you allow me gitambar sir ji 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 mr 330 i have to go uh, we have to go both honorable minister as well as i have to go for Uh, another webinar with the neretco member sir. can i make some points if you allow me i can make some sir, points sir we just have two three question aur hai then we we can just because abhi to it's uh, 310 as you say otherwise jaise aap kahenge chaliye theek hai isko isko iske iske baad mein kuch ek points aap se baat karna chahunga zarur in the context of the covid yeah please theek hai yeah apna question bataiye uh, uh, thank you gitambar uh first of all sir we are very very grateful for you to to you to having taken this time out listening to our points patiently answering us and you are also equally concerned how we can kick start the economy kick start the employment and the labor that we do and uh, we are all looking forward for the 20th where construction work at least in c2 can start now by all this is going on we are quite uh, we know that we have challenges we know we have we have problems my friends have posed many questions so i don't want to repeat any of those questions i think they have covered most of the things but there are two things sir uh, if only two things can be done and if these two things can be done uh, i know that you will have to push for these two things and uh, bo- both one is uh, related to the finance ministry and the other is related to the rbi uh, the first thing is our developers are at the moment leveraged They are in debt, and uh, there there is a bit of stress now with the collection stopping, sales stopping. They will be yeah. still further in trouble, and uh, now this trouble is a uh, big going to be a large trouble as even things when they open out on May third, they will not have the liquidity to pay the bills, to pay the contractors, to complete the projects, uh, unless and until a uh, one time. total restructuring of all the loans of developers is done for at least a year a restructuring a sort of restructuring is done where all the repayments and interest payments can get pushed back by a year if that relief can be given it will provide the want the required oxygen the required money in the system for them to get back on to their feet get their act together and uh, start the uh, the industry and kick start the industry once again and the other thing sir while we are grappling for all of this we are also trying to somehow or the other reduce our construction costs now our construction cost is nothing else but land labor and uh, materials now unfortunately about a year ago uh, there was a amendment in the gst act where the gst was reduced for the consumer at 5% and the input credit was taken away 
Now, with this input credit taken away, it actually what it has done is in one stroke, it has increased our cost of the product by 18%, not less than 18%, but actually 18%. Now, this what is happening is increasing the cost of the product. And in a market like this, it will become that much more difficult for us to sell our product. So if that input credit can be given, and if the one-year uh, deferment of all loans can be done for property developers, it will help to give them the required oxygen, the required strength, and the required motivation for them to complete, actually not even start new projects, but complete what they have on hand, and then get their act together, get the required liquidity, pay up their loans, pay up the banks, and whenever, they are, whenever that falls due, and that will be a big, big, big favor. So these, I would say, are the two top most priority things that need to be done. Otherwise, this industry is going to get into more and more trouble. As it is, it was in trouble. Like you said in your opening remarks, we are going to go more downhill. This is our, my only sincere request. And if you can make this voice heard, I, I'll really appreciate that. Thank you. Well, thank, thank you very much. Uh, I'm quite clear. I think this restructuring of loans uh, makes eminent sense because as it is, there are difficulties which the sector was experiencing. It was under strain. And now if you have several months of uh, non-activity where projects are now, I know, for instance, some of the measures that the RBI governor announced, uh, this lockdown period will not be counted towards the, uh, you know, some of those provision moratorium, etc. Already. So please send me a proposal on this. Also send me a specific uh, suggestion of proposal on input credit on GST. Both these things we will examine in the ministry and very quickly for, for, uh, forward the first both one to finance ministry, the other to GST council, etc. But please send them quickly. We will do that, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mr. Ji, please. Uh, uh, Tambar, sir, uh, I'll just would like to uh, 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 re reply to Mr. Irfan. Ji, sir. That today, when the RBI governor made certain announcements, one of the important announcements was uh, related to the date of commencement for commercial operations in respect of loan to the commercial real estate projects. That's Where, right. and because of this COVID situation, already for the banks, it was allowed one year of extension was allowed without restructuring. Today, he announced one more year. And not one year, but one more year. So it means two years of extension is allowed. He also allowed this for NBFC. If any loan has gone from the uh, NBFCs, again from the, for them, two years have been announced. After his announcement, I talked to the NSB chairman and he told me that the RBI is also considering for, H, uh, for HFCs, housing finance company. So HFCs also, it is very likely that such kind of two years of additional extension is going to come. So I think that yes, restructuring in not, New York and in Hong Kong may not be required. Uh, yeah. Regarding this input tax credit, I think it was on the basis of demands which have come from Credi and Naredco. I mean, we had discussed this much at length that uh, we go for reduced tax. So that is how the decision was taken by the Ministry of Finance. This was a lot of persuasion. One percent and five percent. This came after leaving your ITC. Now you're again coming back with the ITC that is causing 18%. Maybe if you give us calculations, let me try to understand how this calculation is uh, not favoring you because earlier the calculation the So can we, can we have this specific calculation? We can't be taking decisions, uh, I mean, the different decisions at different point of time. So let, let's have those details. We'll give, you, sir. we'll give you the calculations. Okay. Now, now, uh, I wanted to do the first two things with you before we could uh, close. The uh, most important thing is that COVID the situation, one, let me thank you. You have been very cooperative. You have kept them in situ, and kept them in situ, and kept them in situ. And now, on Monday, you are going to start the work on the 20th April. So, my request is that the work on the 20th April is going to start the work on the 20th April. उसके बारे में हमारा एसओपी बिल्कुल क्लियर होना चाहिए हर एक वर्कर को जो भी वर्कर जिससे काम आप लेंगे उनको बगैर मास्क के वो नहीं आएंगे सैनिटाइज करने के बारे में हाथ को चाहे साबुन से धोने को हो या सैनिटाइजर को यूज करने को उसके बगैर वो काम नहीं करेंगे लगातार करते रहेंगे और उनको पहले ही से ही हमने आपको एक एसओपी नरेटकुंड जो बनाया था वो आपसे शेयर किया था आपसे भी रिक्वेस्ट किया था कि आप भी वैसा ही एक 
एसओपी बना लीजिए और हर एक अपने बिल्डर और डेवलपर जो कि अक्रॉस द कंट्री है उनके साथ शेयर कर लीजिए बिकॉज दिस शुड बी फॉलोड स्ट्रिक्टली अगर कोई मटेरियल बाहर से आ रहा है तो उस मटेरियल के बारे में उसको सैनिटाइज करने के या उसको भी क्वारंटाइन करने के कम से कम ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स का क्वारंटीन होना चाहिए आपको इन सीटों अगर आस पास दूर से लोग आ रहे हैं तो गाड़ी का न प्रयोग करके पैदल आए या उसको जो है देश यूज द नॉन मोटराइज साइकिल है या स्कूटर है उसका प्रयोग करके लोग आए तो ये जो तमाम सारे गाइडलाइंस है आपको दो लोग दो, दो, दो लोगों के बीच में हो ये सारी गाइडलाइन आपको लोगों को बार बार बताना पड़ेगा और आपके लोग जाके देखे अभी मैं कल एक सारे स्टेट्स के प्रिंसिपल सेक्रेटरीज के साथ एक वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंस करूंगा उसमें मैं बात करूंगा इन्फोर्स करने के लिए जगह जगह लोग जाके देखे इसका पालन हो रहा है कि नहीं पालन हो रहा है क्योंकि ये जो मौका मिला प्रिंसिपल से काम शुरू करने का इन्हें स्लो मैनर इसको लेकर के आगे आउटब्रेक नहीं बढ़ना चाहिए उसको लेकर के फर्दर इन्फेक्शन नहीं बढ़ना चाहिए ये हम सबकी बहुत बड़ी जिम्मेदारी है और इस जिम्मेदारी को पालन करें ये जो काम जो इन सीटू अलाउ भी किया गया है कंटेनमेंट एरिया में अलाउ नहीं किया गया अगर कोई एरिया कंटेनमेंट कंटेन ऑलरेडी कंटेन की गई है उस एरिया में काम नहीं होगा इवन दो इन सीटू आपका लेबर है ये इसको भी आपको सुनिश्चित करने की जरूरत है तो मैं आप सब लोगों से ये रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा कि कृपया इनोवेटिव सोच समझ करके आप देख लीजिए क्या काम अभी करा सकते हैं क्या काम आप अभी नहीं करा सकते वी हैव टू गो स्लो यू हैव टू फॉलो ऑल द गाइडलाइंस विच है मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर और गाइडलाइंस इश्यूड बाई और मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ होम अफेयर ये दोनों की गाइडलाइन को समरी के तौर पे आपको एक एसओपी बना के दिया गया है और मैं कहूंगा कि इसके बेसिस पे छोटी फिल्म भी बना लीजिए ताकि फिल्म से लोगों को समझ में आ जाती बात लोगों को साइड पे दिखाइए और देख करके लोग समझे क्योंकि यू आर एट रिस्क एवरी वर्कर इज एट रिस्क बाहर से कोई आदमी आना जाना नहीं चाहिए तो वो सब सारे के सारी चीजों लोगों के जहन में बैठ जाना चाहिए अगर देश में इसके इन्फेक्शन को रोकना है तो हर जगह हर तरह से पे कोऑपरेशन होना चाहिए ये मैं चाहूंगा कि आपके सारे के सारे लोगों तक ये बात पहुंचे जहां तक आरबीआई के गवर्नर साहब का जो अनाउंसमेंट था मैं उसके बाद एनएचबी के चेयरमैन ऑल दिस ऑल दिस जो भी इसको एडवांटेजेस आपको लिक्विडिटी वी आर गोइंग टू फॉलो दिस अप विद एन एच ताकि बैंक के माध्यम से आप तक जो लिक्विडिटी इंप्रूवमेंट करने के बारे में है रेगुलेशन इंप्रूव करने वो सारी की सारी चीजों का फायदा आप लोग को मिलना चाहिए I just want to add one more point, sir. Ye uh, Durga ji, please uh, also request both Creda, Fiki. Abhi aap idko about that contact tracing app, Aro Arogya Setu. I think that's yes, our sir. best bet. Yes, sir. Especially yes. when we've got resumed economic activity. Absolutely, we we've, we've downloaded. Most of our members have already downloaded, sir. We given it to our staff and yeah. to our members, so it's very aggressively being used by uh, most of our members. Kitambar Sahib, who Manni Mantri ji ne bhi kaha hai. जी सर जी ने आपने तो कर लिया है लेकिन हर एक वर्कर को एवरी लेबर हु इज ऑन साइट हर वर्कर को आप इसको आरोग्य सेतु जो ऐप है उसको डाउनलोड कर दें ताकि वो उनका भी जो है एक एक दूसरे से जो कांटेक्ट हो रहा है उस कांटेक्ट में उनको पता चले कि सामने कोई आदमी इन्फेक्टेड नहीं आएगा और इन्फेक्टेड है तो उससे वो अपने आप को बचा सकते हैं जरूर बिल्कुल एंड काइंडली यूज द फेसिलिटीज ऑफ द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट आपको लोगों को क्वारंटाइन करने के बारे में थर्मल स्कैनिंग करने के बारे में लोगों को हॉस्पिटल पहुंचाने के बाद ये सारी चीजें बहुत ही ग्रेसफुली होनी चाहिए जी एंड दिस बिकम्स ऑल द मोर इम्पोर्टेंट व्हेन यू स्टार्ट एंड रिज्यूम कंस्ट्रक्शन एक्टिविटी बिकॉज उस समय उस समय देखिए लॉकडाउन लिफ्ट लॉकडाउन रखने से ओवरऑल फिगर्स कम डाउन बट एक बार लॉकडाउन लिफ्ट करेंगे थोड़ी सी इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी के साथ भी मूवमेंट होगी और उस समय कॉन्टेक्ट ट्रेसिंग विल बिकम क्रूशल एब्सोलूटली सर गीताम्बर जी वॉज जस्ट वन वन सबमिशन ऑनरेबल सेक्रेटरीज रिकमेंडेशन वी हैव मेड दिस वर्किंग मैन्युअल इन मल्टी लैंग्वेज सो वॉट फ्रॉम इन बंगाली इन उड़िया इन ऑल हिंदी इंग्लिश ऑल द लैंग्वेज विच आर अंडरस्टूड बाई दी स्टाफ एंड दी वर्कर्स एंड ऑल्सो द फिल्म इन प्रोसेस आई थिंक इन कपल ऑफ डेज विल Yeah. So, yeah. 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 मगर साहब और साथ में आप छोटी सी फिल्म मैंने आप लोगों से रिक्वेस्ट किया एक छोटी सी फिल्म भी बनवा लीजिए एक मिनट का एक मिनट का आधा मिनट का बना के जिससे वर्कर्स उसको देखेंगे और उनको मालूम चलेगा एक अभी जो साइट है एमएसएमई की साइट है आईगॉट उस पर कई सारी फिल्में बना के पड़ी हुई आप जो फिल्म ऑलरेडी बनी है उसको भी यूज कर सकते हैं ठीक है सर कर लेन बी टेक लास्ट मिस्टर मुरली फ्रॉम फिक्की Murli, can you ask a question from Sri Ram Properties? Uh, thank you, Minister. Uh, 
I would like to stress upon two points uh, in continuation with uh, what Irfan said. Sir, uh, GST into credit, lifting that GST into credit has been the biggest denter for uh, affordable housing. Cost of affordable housing has gone up by more than 15% just because of that. So, I think... Only we, we, want, we, should, we, should, we can also put it like this, that when the scheme came, we had an option of either opting for an ITC scheme or going with a scheme without ITC. Should we say that we want that option again? Uh, yes, you know, I mean, uh, see, I was closely associated with, uh, uh, I was working closely with the uh, minister at that point of time. Uh, I think, you know, we should impress upon, uh, again, GST. I, I, they'll be open to it. I think we should get this GST uh, input credit passed on to uh, all the projects. I think that will make a big difference. That's one, sir. The second one is, uh, uh, we need to increase the demand. Uh, probably, you know, I mean, we should uh, stress upon, impress upon the state governments to reduce the stamp duty drastically. I don't think, you know, I mean, uh, we need to pay 8%, 9% stamp duty. At least our uh, BJP ruled governments, state governments, we can bring down the stamp duty more than half. At least for the next two years time for a limited period, that can increase the uh, demand. Third one on the ECB, uh, we are sitting with about $460 billion of Forex today. I don't think, I mean, uh, which is uh, uh, yielding about 2% uh, yield. So probably whether we can take the hedging cost, whether the government of India can absorb the hedging cost, and allow affordable housing projects to be, uh, I mean, eligible to avail ECB, where edging costs can be picked up by the uh, government of India. I think these are the three ones. And uh, sir, last uh, to summarize, every crisis is an opportunity. Good leaders manage this crisis very well. Great leaders convert this I mean, crisis into opportunity. This is a time for us. Our great prime minister is doing a fantastic job. So real estate is one industry can push us, push the economy, on the ladder and uh, can help the country to become great. So I think uh, you are taking a good initiative, sir. Thank you. But we should go very aggressive is my humble opinion, sir. Humble submission. Thank you very much. I think uh, uh, at least two of your three uh, comments, suggestions are leading to the finance ministry, whether we can use uh, the reserves that we have, hedging, etc. But, you know, send us, send us a para or two each on them. And I'm sure that my uh, colleagues and the um, secretary and others, we will examine them with the uh, finance ministry. But uh, seriously speaking, you. Um, you know, issues relating to GST, issues relating to using that, uh, you know, the, the foreign uh, exchange reserve, those are technically outside the remit of the ministry, but we, we will pass these suggestions on and we will uh, follow up. But since we have another, uh, I have back-to-back -back VCs other than on also the group of ministers, I want to thank uh, Kredai and Fiki. Uh, please uh, uh, treat this, as I said earlier, as the not a one-time event, but uh, as long as we uh, don't get full um, uh, flexibility of movement, let us do this more often, number one. I also want to, uh, once again, thank you all, as I said in my opening about individually and collectively, what you have done, not only for uh, uh, you know the labor, the construction workers, etc., looking after them, and to providing um, uh, shelter. Oh, my ministry has been doing. We've been providing 100,000 meals uh, uh, a day to uh, people living in the homeless shelters. A lot of actions, but I don't want to take everybody's time. Thank you very much. I greatly value this interaction and uh, my senior colleagues, the secretary and the other senior officers have taken careful note. We will follow up where you have, I have requested you to send um, brief uh, uh, suggestions in, um, as a follow up to what you have said, please do that quickly. And then I think we should uh, tentatively agree to meet say, let's say uh, 10 days to two weeks from now and to carry this discussion forward. By that time, we would have had some experience of how the uh, uh, calibrated lifting of uh, restrictions after 20th April has uh, worked. By that time also, we will have ideas on how we are going to move forward and we will greatly value your suggestions on that. So thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for being with us. Thank you, Mishra ji. On behalf of both organizations, thank you. thank you very much. And like you said, we'll keep having these interactions. So it makes a huge difference to us. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.